Actually, now a local congregation came together for the first time since its church was vandalized, and it's all thanks to the outpouring love and support from the community. Way 31's Grace Campbell attended this morning's service and tells us how members are hoping to move forward. Last week, this church was in shambles from all the damage and destruction done by the vandals. Members of the church told me they didn't know when they would be able to come back and worship again. It feels real good because I don't like sitting at home on a Sunday and not worshiping the Lord. Members of St. John's Missionary Baptist Church are glad to be back in their sacred home. Crews spent days fixing the damages, but many are still feeling the damage in their hearts. A lot of people won't see punishment. Deacon Curtis Burton Sr. says it's been especially difficult to accept what happened since all four suspects were under the age of 15. You know, we don't know what's going on in their homes, you know, and they might, they might just need somebody, you know, to, to talk to them. Burton met with the 11 and 13 year old girls accused of destroying the church. Man, they were so small and innocent. And that was just, it almost brought me to tears. He says God's work has shown him that forgiveness is the only way to move forward. So he's ready to do just that. We'll just invite them to come to church with us if they want to. Members of the church agree, saying they know God has a reason for everything. He knows what to do and when to do it. All we got to do is rely upon him, trust him, and we'll be all right. Reporting in Somerville, Grace Campbell, Way 31 News.